cheese. Oh. Shaden Sharp really loves mac and cheese. Okay. Uh, a brilliant mind. I mean, duh. Let's see this mashed potato and gravy situation. Thank you, Thamacius, for the playlist. Mashed potatoes or mac and cheese? Oh, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese or butternut squash? Mac and cheese. Mac, mac and yes. cheese or cranberry sauce? Mac and cheese. Yes, uh, easy. Mac and cheese or cream spinach? Easy. Mac and, cheese. mac and cheese or sweet potato casserole? So I didn't even know what the fuck this was until one of my buddies told me about this shit. Apparently, Americans take sweet potato and then they put the stuff on top of it is marshmallows. Did you guys know that? Yo, what the fuck is going on, man? No wonder it's the most obese country in the Western Hemisphere. What the fuck? Like, I know Mexico's got the uh, hands for America a little bit. Sometimes they try to, like, uh, be the most obese. But, like, there's no shot, bro. What the fuck? How is this a food, brother? marshmallows aren't caloric first of all yes they are it's just sugar puffs but marshmallows aren't even food like it's barely food it's so good there's cinnamon and brown sugar mixed in with the potatoes I've never had this thing, and I feel like it's nasty. Like, it just looks so nasty. I'm going to be honest with you. It just, that's like, conceptually speaking, it's an abomination, okay? From where I'm standing, from where I'm standing, looking at this food from the outside as a person who, like, didn't, like, grow up with Thanksgiving, okay? I'm telling you guys right now, Americans, this shit looks nasty as fuck to the rest of the world. Okay, straight up. Anyone that tries to fucking hit me with a, you don't need seafood, blah, 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 all this other shit. Like, I know my faults and failures, dog. That doesn't mean that you're, that doesn't just stay on message. You know what I mean? Don't try to do hypocrisy baiting here. Like, I, I recognize, like, I, I wish I could eat seafood. It, it's, it looks, it gives so much joy to people that are able to consume it, right? Like, I know. But you're just only doing that to be like, my position is untenable, so I'm just going to fucking shit smear in the other direction. Like, I know, I know I'm wrong in, for that one, but this, this looks insane. It looks like pumpkin spice baby shit, but tastes like heaven. So, I don't know what it tastes like. I just, I feel, I shouldn't make up my mind before I actually taste it, because I do love sweet potato. But this, like, conceptually speaking, looks like a war crime. Okay. Like conceptually, when I look at it from afar and like someone tries to describe to me the steps of making one, I'm like, that is gross. That's the grossest thing you could have ever tried to do. Why did you, who came up with that? Like, like, you know how we've talked about in the past about how the first guy that ever like decided to suck on a cow titty was like a bit of a freak, but you know, God bless his soul for doing so. Cause like dairy's pretty awesome. Who's the first guy that was like, let me take this fake ass marshmallow shit and dump it on top of sweet potatoes that. I oh, my mom is saying women at some point in America were creating American cuisine and they came up with shit like this. That's a dessert short of fake food. Yeah, what's happening? My family makes it with brown sugar and shredded coconut instead of marshmallow. Oh, that sounds gross. That sounds even more gross. By far your whitest take. My whitest take. Brother. This might be like a like a southern dish and like uh black people in America might consume it. Okay, but you are out of your fucking mind. Show this to literally any person that's not American. They will perish. Show this to a dude in Zimbabwe. He will die. Okay, what the fuck do you mean?
It's a pre-dessert dessert. The marshmallow comes out as crispy, so the sweet potato mixes well with it. I mean, listen, I should probably I should probably try it first, even though I kind of am scared of it in general. But like, don't don't come at me with this like sweet potato casserole. Wow, you're shitting on sweet potato casserole, white people shit. Like that's crazy. That's a very Americentric take. Maybe in America, I guess, but even then, I don't know about that. But my perspective on this is like this is basically the beacon of Amerifat culture. Okay, you know how like people say white people have no culture, sweaty. Like, uh, check this out: D sweet potato casserole. Okay. Anyway. Maybe I'll try it and I'll love it, but I will probably be too ashamed to admit that I love it because it sounds, it just objectively looks like an abomination. All right, we're moving on. Mac and cheese still on top. Mac and cheese, Mac and cheese or scalloped potato. So this is actually the only thing that they've brought up so far in this that is like kind of a contender. There's a contest here for sure. Everything else doesn't come close. Cream spinach, like get the fuck out of here. Who's saying cream spinach? Like I feel like people who give money to... Uh, NPR, like the 501c3 for the NPR are like, yes, I love cream spinach. That's my favorite uh, side dish, actually. Like people who read articles about how Amy Coney Barrett is like uh, a girl boss and believe it. Like those are the type of motherfuckers that actually, they were an ascot to Thanksgiving dinner and they like cream spinach. Like that's a psychotic thing to enjoy. Okay. I, I don't really understand it. Like, like cream spinach is like, oh fuck, there's nothing else on the table. Uh, to, to like, you know, eat with my steak. So I guess I'll, you know, I'll just fucking put a, put a dip in there, put a fork in there for a second. You know what I mean? Okay. Cream spinach is good. Just not as good as mac and cheese. Um, I don't know if Jenks Mike is still on from yesterday without noise gate, but we can hear Dr. Anne a lot more than usual, just so you know. Wait, really? Anne? Wait, can you talk for a second? Hold on. I'm going to wait. Uh, I'm going to stop talking. Can you talk? Could you guys hear her? Could you guys hear that? Okay, well, no, it's fine. It was, it was just uh, noise gate check, noise gate check. Dudes that with their seven thousand dollar studio headphones, like being like, "Well, I, wow, I'm analyzing your mom's gait, and it seems like she's leaning on her left foot a little bit more than her right. It seems I can hear everything that's going on. You know what the fuck? Y'all are crazy. Chill out. That's weird." Um. I fucked up. Uh, all right, bro. This was the moment you could have purged the audio pedos. Yeah. All right, let's continue. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese or Brussels sprouts. See, okay. These are getting better and better, but like, it's still not, co no contest. Like, I think Brussels sprouts, as far as like green options goes, is the most goaded one. Uh, I do love scalloped potatoes, by the way. I just want to point out, I, I passed through it. Like, this is the closest we've gotten to mac and cheese. Brussels sprouts is not closer than scalloped potatoes, but it's still, like, a decent a decent thing. Like, the way I think about it is, if I'm at a steak restaurant, right? If I'm at a steak place, if I'm at a steak place, Brussels sprouts are actually goaded. It just sucks that, like, they never make it right. They make it so sloppy because they, like, douse it with sauce everywhere you go and they never actually make it like crispy enough and when you have good brussels sprouts it's an in incredible experience problem is most people don't make it crispy they make it sloppy and it's like wet for some reason and it's just like fucking nasty uh, most places make it nasty but a good brussels sprouts is like mm, perfect now having said that though having said that having said that does it come close to mac and cheese? No. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese or buttermilk biscuits? Oh, dude. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm still on the mac and cheese train, but the buttermilk biscuits kind of make me think about it. They make me second guess it a little bit. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. Why? Why? Mac and cheese is like pizza, right? It's good even when it's bad, usually. 
I've never had like a mac and cheese that was like so gross where I was just like, ew, yuck. Whereas I have had bad biscuits that are so dry that it turns my mouth into the Sahara Desert. You know what I mean? Where you're like, you ever have one of them bad buttermilk biscuits where it just like turns into a fucking explosion, like a sodium explosion in your mouth where you're just like, I need desperately to drink water or else I feel like I'm going to perish. So, it's just, yeah, negative moisture biscuit. So, I guess mac and cheese can be bad, too. I just don't really think about all the bad times that I've had uh, with mac and cheese. But I can remember bad times that I had with butter, buttermilk biscuits. I'm still thinking mac and cheese, though. Mac and cheese. That's the toughest one yet, though. That's tougher than the scalloped potatoes. Mac and cheese or steamed broccoli. Get out of here, bro. What the fuck? You can't go from buttermilk biscuits to steamed broccoli. You went from peak to fucking bottom of the barrel dog shit what is this a punishment it's a punishment you fucking put this shit in front of me i'm like what what did i do do you hate me do you never want me to come back here again do you want this family to fall apart this family is falling apart mac and cheese mac and cheese or stuffing mac oh Stuffing is also another one that's like hit or miss, right? Stuffing varies from person to person. My point, this is the only time where I was substitute from the mac and cheese to the stuffing. Mac and cheese is more, uh, mac, it just depends. It's entirely dependent. I would eat broccoli over mac and cheese. That is the lamest thing you could have ever said. That is insane. Yeah. Stuffing is either fucking incredible or just like, not great at all. It's just, and it's a, it's a delicate balance of seasoning that you have to put on it. Um, I don't know. Mac and cheese is for all occasions on like stuffing. Yeah. Literally just anti-vegetable. Yes. I, I mean, I eat veggies all day, every day. Having said that, however, um, steamed broccoli is like is a, is a punishment meal. Steamed broccoli is what you eat when you just are are trying to cut for a competition or something. What do you mean? Like broccoli, I like. I don't have a problem with broccoli. I'm not a baby, right? But like steaming the broccoli with nothing, raw dogging, raw dogging steamed broccoli is nasty, dude. What the fuck? Some of you guys are crazy, I think. I've had steamed broccoli. It's just like when I am super serious about my calorie intake, like that's when I have it. Yeah, broccoli holds a sauce like no other is such a good take, which is why you got to you gotta use it as a vehicle for the sauce. If you don't fucking sauce it up and you just leave it there steamed, Looking alone, looking sad. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Ooh, nah, mac and cheese. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I, I like this guy's taste. I, uh, I I think this is where I would sub to the stuffing because, like, it's seasonal. You know what I mean? Because, like, that's the one occasion where you have stuffing, and it's the one occasion where the stuffing carries, I think. I love stuffing. It's my favorite American invention. Yeah, too. Mac and cheese or cornbread? Mac and cheese. Ooh, that's another good one. Fuck. Fuck. Obviously. Kaldırma yani oradan. Uyuyor yatıyor yattığı yerde. Ne demek size ne ya? Uyunu bozma. Oh fuck. I love cornbread so much. Dude, I, cornbread is another thing that is like very American. And I don't even mean like USA. I mean just like America's American, right? Dude. The best cornbread I've had destroys the best mac and cheese I've ever had. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing like really, really good cornbread with some honey butter on the side. I would, I would kill for that. I would kill. I would, I would fight people for, ooh, just warm, warm cornbread with the fucking honey butter on the side. You put that fucking shit, you spread that shit on it. Oh my God, my mouth is watering. Fuck. It's like, Oh, it's so good. Oh, fuck, it's so good. 
Yeah, I I never had cornbread until like a couple years prior, and then I realized like it's just one hundred percent my shit. It's like really good. I was just missing out all this time. Beef. Mac and cheese or salad? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Cheese. Mac and cheese or sweet potato soup? Mac and cheese. Mac yeah, and not cheese a or Jello casserole? That what the fuck? That's illegal. Illegal. Flag on the play. That's another war crime. Americans need to stop it right now. Stop what you're doing. Don't do that. Don't fucking do that. What is this nastiness, dude? What the fuck is going on? Like, this is some British shit, dude. I feel like this is this is some, like, oibrov shit. Like, what, what's happening? This is, the, this is exactly the type of shit you're on when you fucking conquer the entire planet, 13 colonies, and then you don't use any of the goddamn spices and make this kind of hurt bullshit is fruit jello no aspic lamau i don't know what the fuck this is i just don't even want it i don't want it i don't want to see it i hate it mac and cheese all right Shit. we use jello a lot in the 50s and we've never been able to banish it completely yeah uh, it's like this is what the 1950s depressed housewives addicted to lithium and Valium invented. Exactly. We should have just like left it in the 50s along with racism and segregation. You know what I mean? Like, like things that should have been left in the 50s is segregation, white supremacy, and whatever kind of fucking, uh, whatever kind of uh, insane delicacies that Midwestern housewives made when they were like dodging fucking uh, domestic violence from their husbands who made far too much money in comparison to today. Well, I guess they didn't, but like, you know, things were cheaper, like cars and houses and stuff. Well, not cars, but houses. And we had the GI Bill. Anyway, funeral potatoes may be the only side that can compete with mac and cheese. Yeah. <clears throat> Jello is only for when you can't have food in your stomach for medical procedures. I I don't like I just I I've never been a big Jello guy. I think it looks gross. I don't fuck with it at all. I don't vibe with it at all. I think it's it's it just like looks weird. It looks gross. I don't like it. it not a fan. I think what I am a fan of, however, uh, I do like pudding. I, I fuck with pudding. Have you even had it? Have I had Jello? Yes, I've had Jello. I've had Jello shots. Do I look up Ambrosia salad or not? I'm looking at it. Oh no! Oh, what the fuck? Hey, what the fuck, bro? This is literally what the fuck. I've seen this before. Cover China's new respiratory problem. They're not providing any detail. I mean, it could be a thing or it could be what is known as flu season. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like. It's as gross as it looks. I mean, it, it can't get... There is no way this doesn't taste gross. It's hard to cover when there's not good info out there anyway. My aunt makes this pretty bland, but looks radioactive. Bro, this shit is nasty. We have done this before. We looked at, like, weird-ass American desserts in the past, and I feel like someone brought this up to the, brought this to the table before. My mom made the most bomb ass banana pudding yesterday with layers of cream, banana wafers, and so on. Okay, well, that's why you got to flex. Why you got to flex on us like that? Because uh, I, for one, did not have any fucking banana cream pie uh, because uh, they had run out. I did, however, have a decent ass uh, apple pie, which is fine, you know? I'll take it. We take those. This looks amazing, Hassan. Oh, dude, this is funny as fuck, yeah. My favorite is when uh, politicians put their nasty-ass food out there. Uh, thank God for Tim Kaine. 
A cane specialty, creamed onions. Dude, here's the thing, okay? There's a reason why. There is a reason why professional food photography revolves around professional food photography revolves around like literally faking food. Like it's not edible, okay? The food that you see in commercials is not real food. It's fake. This is a very funny genre of tweets where you have like politicians that always they're around Thanksgiving usually will just like post their nasty ass, wet ass fucking food. And, and they'll be like, oh, it's great. It's like, it might taste good. I don't know. I mean, creamed onions sounds weird, but I do like cream and I do like onions. But like, you're never going to win favors with this. Everyone's going to look at this and go, that's nasty as fuck.